Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks and welcome to more insane stuff going on in a world which is spiralling out of control. I mean, really, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's all back to front. It's not really a clown world anymore. It's a people being trained to enslave themselves world. I've said so many times in these videos that if the public, if they keep on complying, they will just continue to give you more things to do, more hoops to jump through, more obstacles in your way. I mean, a lot of people are against what's going on, but there must be a lot of people who are just jumping to order like these dogs, like these dogs here, jumping up and down. I mean, how many hoops are they willing to jump through? How ridiculous does it have to get? Here's the first story. Brits may have to film themselves taking tests before jetting off on holiday, it says here. British holidaymakers may soon have to film themselves taking COVID tests before being allowed back into the UK. Under government plans unveiled last week, PCR swab tests are set to be replaced with lateral flows. While faster and cheaper, the tests do not need to be sent off to a lab for the results to come through, meaning they are open to fraud. Travel industry sources have said travellers might have to carry out a swab in sea or air terminals with officials watching to remove the chance of people cheating, the Telegraph reports. Well, there you go. That's a new job opening there. Swab test watcher at airports. It continues. Alternatively, they could be done via a video consultation. Sources told the Telegraph that the government is exploring the option of holidaymakers doing a swab on site at a registered provider or through a video consultation where the traveller completes the test watched by a trained member of the provider's staff over a Zoom call a couple of days before they travel, which I imagine will most probably cost a fortune. And this is for people, I mean, this is for people who are double jabbed already, <laughs> double jabbed. I mean, how many hoops are these people willing to jump through? I mean, what next to board a plane? You have to get double jabbed. You have to have a Jabberwocky passport. You have to get your booster. You have to do a test as well on top of that. Oh, oh you have to film yourself doing a test. Oh, and a professional or, or a member of staff has to witness you, you doing it. What next? Well, you have to pledge allegiance to the Queen and sing the national anthem whilst hopping on one leg at the same time as you do the test? I mean, come on. How many elaborate and complicated procedures are people going to accept to be subjected to in order for you to go about your business? As I keep on saying, the more they comply, the more hassle, the more obstacles, the more crap they're gonna to have to do in order to p please these bullies, these psychos, these nutters, all right? Who don't, they don't even want you to travel on a plane. So they don't care. They want to put you off traveling on a plane. This just comes across to me as just yet another test on the public. This is just to see how docile and how compliant and how willing they are to go along with anything they say. When are they gonna wise up? To what extent? How many hoops are they going to jump to? Where is their self-respect? And this may just be for travel, but you know this is going to end up extending into every other area you can think of in your life if people keep on complying and accepting this crap. I just don't understand it. The message is the same. You know, if you stand united, if people say no collectively, they will backtrack. It's the compliance and the gullibility that is their downfall at the moment, and the lack of a backbone, basically. I don't know. I mean, and look at this clip. I think it's from Canada, of this old woman in a McDonald's. I mean, this is so sad on so many levels. It's so pathetic, okay? You've got an old woman who wants to get something to eat in McDonald's. I mean, that's pathetic already. Those skanky ass burgers, fillets of fish, muck. Why do you eat that garbage? And the fries? The majority of the potatoes for McDonald's fries comes from Bill Gates' farmlands, yeah? You know, what are you doing going in there in the first place? All this time, she has lived her life and she's going to McDonald's. I mean, what happened to gaining wisdom in old age? Anyway, if that is not sad enough, she goes into McDonald's. Look, here's the clip. Hi. 
I had something stolen, so I have. Okay, but I, and then you can see here in that case. This is this is a very serious problem. I have my vaccine. You can call my doctor. So yeah, no jab passport, no food for the old lady, no fillet of fish, no skanky burger for you. It's a lucky escape, really. And she says she's had the jab as well. Call my doctor, she says. And they're all wearing masks. Oh my goodness. Refusing people food because they don't have a passport. I mean, look at the madness of this. This is pure madness. First of all, the, and it's only taken 18 months, 19 months to get to this level. First of all, the old lady is already in the shop. I mean, she's in McDonald's. So what's the point? You're allowed into the shop, but you're not allowed to buy food. So she can queue up with everybody else. I mean, that doesn't make any sense if it's about health or a virus. I mean, it's pure madness. Why are people going along with this? Why is this woman telling an old lady she can't have something to eat? That woman in the mask, she probably goes home and talks about how she has had to do all of these things today. and She doesn't agree with them, but she has to do it or she'll lose her job. Nothing is more important than your self-respect. Nothing is more important than doing the right thing. I'm just following orders again. To what extent? To how far will you follow the orders to keep your crappy little job? Like I said, it's not a clown world anymore. It's like watching the majority of the public being trained to enslave themselves. And at the same time, destroying any form of social cohesion that may exist, okay? I mean, people need to unite together, you know? Find some love in your heart, you know? Never, at the same time, though, it's never been a better time to have a place to live in the middle of nowhere, away from everybody, away from all of this craziness. I mean, this is why we need to plan ahead. Now, I've been getting a few messages from people who have allotments, who have a large amount of land and are looking for people to come and help work that land, get veggies growing, stuff like that, uh, collaborating. And they want me to tell people uh, to see if anyone is interested. What I might try and do is add something to the website at hugotalks.com, a page uh, where people can connect with one another in regards to like allotments and gardening, growing veggies, and just making plans for the future and connecting with like-minded souls, literally. The only problem is having to make sure it doesn't get spammed or taken over by trolls, etc. So I'll be looking into that. Let me know if you have any ideas in regards to that. So anyway, stay strong, keep the faith. I mean, have pride in the fact that you at least see through all of this complete insanity and are at least aware of what is going on. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't show passports to get a skanky ass burger. <laughs>